In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I'd like you to set up Optana Studio for this class. You should have downloaded and installed Optana, and you should have watched the videos on lynda.com. I'm not going to go through every feature of Optana here, but I am going to go through how I want you to set up your files for our class. You can start by creating a project, or we're going to actually get rid of what we don't need here. I don't want the App Explorer. And I'm going to minimize this console down at the bottom. You can go into File, New, Project, and we're going to create a project for this class. We're just going to do a generic empty web project. So please select Web Project and hit Next. We're going to use the default project because I don't want any template in here. And then we're going to hit Next, and the project name is going to be CIS 142 Web Scripting. And I try to avoid using spaces in the names for these. I want my location to have no spaces. I'm going to save mine in my Mary area with a new folder, and I will call it CIS 142 Web Scripting. And we'll save everything that we do for this class in this folder. So I'm going to create the folder. I'm going to hit Open. So I've got my 140, CIS 142 Web Scripting project and my Web Scripting folder. And I'm going to hit Finish. So now I have my file folder set up. Each week, that we have work for, or each unit that we have work for, you are going to create a new folder for. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to select New, and I'm going to select Folder. And I'll name the first folder Unit 1. And don't use any spaces in these names because some servers will not allow you to upload files or folders with spaces in them, so no spaces and then I'm going to create my very first file. I'm going to choose New from Template, HTML, and we're going to start with the XHTML Transitional Template. XHTML-1.0 Transitional Template. And we're just going to call it index.html and any file that you name index when you go to that page if you went to once we upload this if you went to the unit 1 file folder index is what will open by default and so I'm going to hit finish and that's going to create a very simple template for me let's look at the basic content that is part of a web page. Up at the top, this first line is your doc type, and this tells the browser what version of HTML you'll be writing your code in. This also shows it where to verify it, where the description of it is. It shows you that we're using the language of English, and then we have our header area, and that we're using the text HTML Character set. We'll get into this later. And this, this is the first content that you would edit. This is your title. By default, it makes the title the name of my page. I don't always want to do that. Generally, what I want to do is give it a meaningful title, something that I could use for search engine optimization, which we'll talk about more later. But for this, it will be my first assignment, and that's in the head section. You'll notice we have the whole HTML page which starts here and ends here. And a very basic thing is every tag that you have, and the tags are enclosed in these triangular brackets, any opening tag must have a corresponding closing tag. Closing tags are identified by having the slash in front of the tag. So we have the opening title tag, the closing title tag the opening of the heading section, the close of the head section. In the body is where we'd put the content of our page. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in H1, which is a heading level 1. It means it's important. And I'm going to type in, this is my very first assignment. And that's really all I need to have in this particular HTML file. We're going to test it, but the first thing that you have to do before you can test this is to save it. So you can either save here, Control S on a PC or Command S on a Mac, that will save it. Then you can preview what your page will look like in the Show Preview Editor button. And there you go. That's your very first web page. In the next exercise, we'll show you how to set up your server so that you can upload this to your server.